This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by LRN.FM. Feds don't want you to hear them. So on May 8th, I go by Franklin, New Hampshire, and wait outside a room where, according to the town's website, the mayor's drug task force is supposed to meet. I bring a few questions with me, but the main one I want to ask is triggered by a sign I see on one of the doors at the entrance. It says something along the lines of Franklin Mayor's Drug Task Force. That may not seem very significant to you, but this is a community building where a lot of kids hang out. Uh, it was almost packed with kids when I got there around 4.30 p.m. It felt like a school. So people are always talking about how, well, it's not safe to have... Uh, guns around kids in school, I got to thinking, well, maybe it's not safe to have drug warriors around kids uh, in a community center. So I wanted to ask about that. To what extent is it safe to have uh, uh, kids in the same building with drug warriors? Don't, you know, to, you know, don't drug warriors prey on kids? Arresting them for victimless crimes? Snitching them out? Urging them to snitch out their friends? For all I know, the mayor's drug task force, force in uh, Franklin may be different, but I sure didn't get that impression from looking over their web pages. It looked like yet another law enforcement racket. Unfortunately, I never got a chance to ask any of these questions because the mayor's drug task force just canceled its meeting without informing the public, at least not through its website. I should rephrase that, not through the town website. Franklin, like most town governments, maintains a calendar. And this event was left up there right until the last day, canceled for no particularly interesting reason other than there was some other event going on that month that they decided to meld their meeting with that event. Oh well, it would have been a chance for them to correct some of my prejudices, if any, about their activities. Don't hold your breath for next time, guys. I'll get to you when I get to you. LRN.FM, 24 hours of Liberty Radio every day. Now available on satellite, too, at sat.lrn.fm. That's what a satellite sounds like. Put it on your unlicensed station. Wear it in your hair. But above all, don't despair. The Liberty message is getting out. And right now, you're missing it. Or maybe you're not. But skip on over to LRN.FM. Feds don't want you to hear them.